All right, welcome back to the official hackathon walkthrough video series. We're going to be starting uh, by basically getting you set up with a repository that is got all the lithium development tools and everything that you're actually going to need to have to actually build to develop uh, and deploy smart contracts on a lithium. All right, so we're in our VS Code uh, environment now, um, and I am on a Linux system, but you can do this on a Mac system as well. And you can do this on Windows WSL um, because I've done it before myself. And so we're going to run a git clone. And we've cloned the repo, and it's now in our thing as Next.js template. We're going to move ourselves into that Next.js template. All right, so we're in that Next.js template now, and um, now that we're in here, the only other thing that we're gonna need is the lithium stack, right? So I'm going to go back one step, and I'm going to uh, remove my stack real quick. All right, so my stack's been removed, and I'm going to re-download my stack. The stack is basically uh, the developer network that you're going to run, uh, and that's required to uh, compile the smart contracts for Lithium, and also do unit testing on the developer network. So I'm gonna get clone it now. And now I've cloned my stack, and there's my stack right there. I'm now going to CD into my stack. Bam, I'm in my stack. Pseudo in front of it. There we go. We've started our developer network. Um, and if you guys do need to install Docker, I'll leave a link in the description of the commands required to actually just immediately install it onto Linux. If you're using Mac, it's as simple as going to Docker's homepage and downloading for Mac. Uh, and if you're using Windows WSL, it's going to be the same as the Linux setup. So it'll be the same as what I put in the description, which I'll also leave the Docker uh, website as well. But now that we're loading up the stack, um, we're one step closer to our Lithium development environment being completely set up for us and ready to go. All right, so our stack is now running and we are now good to go. The stack basically tells us um, the resources that we can check uh, in the developer side as far as Swagger goes. So you should be able to access this link if your developer network is indeed running properly, as well as the uh, private key passphrase for our developer network, which is not super important that it remains secure, but is something to be mindful of. Uh, as well as different addresses and address keys that we have within our developer network already established. So now that we have our repository, let's go over um, some of the dependencies that are actually required to actually, you know, run the Lithium stack um, and run contracts and that sort of thing, right? So you'll be able to find that in package.json. And we scroll down to dependencies. And these first two right here are the first two ones that we want to be um, emphasizing, which are the Web3 and the Web3 React, as well as the next two dependencies being the Alifium CLI and the Alifium Web3 Test. These are the packages that you're going to need, and they all should be the same version, always, that you're going to need to run uh, and develop Alifium contracts. If I hover over one, I can see that the latest version is 1.6.0. And so I'm going to update all mine to 1.6.0 because we want to be using the latest version of the stack if we can. All right, so now I have my dependencies updated. And next, I'm going to look at some of the configuration settings that I have. So, alithium.config.ts is going to be your main configuration file, 
and it's going to have your DevNet private keys, your testnet private keys, and your mainnet private keys. All of these private keys are going to be um, something that, not all the private keys, but the testnet and the mainnet private keys are the two private keys that you yourself are going to have to get from your wallet um, simply by clicking the settings option, um, going to developer settings, uh, looking at your addresses, and getting the, the private key. Um, and just for um, the sake of demo, I'll do that right now as well. All right, now moving forward, we're going to be looking at all the different files that are actually within our um, repository after we install all of them. So we'll run a simple MPMI and we will install all of the dependencies. All right, so we have all our dependencies installed now, and we're gonna try to compile our first contract. And we were good, we we're able to compile. So that was all for this first video. Um, if you need help setting up your repository anymore, feel free to leave a comment as well as join the Lithium Discord and ask for help because that's where you can find myself and other developers who are both building and ready to help new people uh, build as well. All right, see you guys in the next one.